Does yours have a coleslaw? Can I try yeah. it? I thought it was just cabbage. Breathe, baby. Happy New Year, Baka. Happy New Year, Baka. Happy New Year, Baka. Show me your dread. Hold on. Uh oh. You vlogging or what? This is, yeah, this is the Verse uh, crew right here, the Verse universe. Oh, Verse universe right here, man. Look at that. Jesus. My hair. Oh my god. Uh, well, your hair yeah. looks nice, bro. Yes, sir. Looks good, buddy. Uh, not much. We about to go grab something to eat because yesterday I just uh, worked. I told her yesterday if I can work, if you let me work the whole day, today I'll give you the whole day. So I'm, I'm basically. Wow. Why'd you change the language? I think you today in English. To God or to her? To her. It's the same thing. That you understood probably. Uh, no, it's one. The yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The whole day? Yeah. I was like, today I'm going to give her the whole day. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, she's so happy. God. Like, she's like the happiest being in the world. Yes. Let me see how she, how she looks. Let me see. Oh, I thought I was oh showing you on the God. camera. No, you showed me in the other camera. I <laughs> know. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> she's the happiest oh. thing look at her she's trying to get her makeup done and stuff like that just to go eat like that's how amazing she is wow just yeah. to go eat just to go eat bro. <laughs> you guys are so extra oh my god my we baby. just eating food that's all we were doing the, the most amazing woman in the world bro man all right Nate. Tell me about it. <laughs> you guys are cute Hi guys, we're in this place and I'm ordering right now uh, some uh, chicken sandwich with some mac mac and cheese on it. You want pickle on yours, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi right, guys, we here. Hi right, guys, we here. Uh, where are we at? Monroe's Hot Chicken, downtown Phoenix. Man, this is the best chicken I've ever had in my life. And so while we're doing that, we're gonna answer, we're gonna rate some of uh, some of people's dread videos. Not dread videos, but dread hairs. So we're gonna be uh, rating you guys' hair while we're doing the hot chicken mukbang, basically. I'm excited that she's gonna try it because this is the first time I've been here once before and it literally changed my life. The first bite changed my life. So if you're in Phoenix, go to uh, downtown Phoenix. Uh, it's on like Jefferson and First Ave. Uh, and you'll get you some Monroe's hot chicken. It's the best, I'm telling you. Go there, bro, and you tell me. You tell me, I'll buy it to you if you, I'll, I'll pay the, I pay the sandwich if you find out it's not that good. You get what I'm saying? Napkin. We need a lot of napkin. I make a mess. You want to ice cave place after you like Yeah. Is this where it was at? Downtown Phoenix. Bring it around town. The only thing that sucks about downtown is the fact that there's no parking spot. So you forgot to get some ranch and some uh, some seasonings. She's literally down there. Oh. And I'm parked at a like weird spot right here. Hi, you reached me. It's like there's no parking spot, so I'm just parked at this exit spot right here. Ah, she's running. I'm trying to catch her at this red light right here. Good job, I Eddie. went in the store. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, cause my hair, cause my bun fell. Uh huh. And I was like, oh, my bun. I was like, I ran here. Uh huh. The guy was like, where's your man's at? I was like, oh, he's driving. I was like, you know downtown, it would have taken too long to come back here. So I told him to just drop me off and I ran here. Uh -huh. And then I paid for two, but he gave me four. Oh, he gave me four? He, he gave me them before I even paid for them, yeah. Oh, wow. Come on, favor upon our lives. Amen. Come on, say that. Favor upon our lives. Yes, but yeah, because I was like, I just need some ranch. And so I was paying for it because the lady said it was 50 cents. Oh, each? Yeah, so I, I bought two. Mm -hmm. And then he gave me the bag before I finished swiping oh, my card. Oh, wow. And He's so nice. I still paid for it though. And then there was four. I remember that guy. Next time, I'm going to personally tip him. Yeah, he was super nice. This thing beeping. Shut up. He's in my TikTok. Oh, dang. Shut up. Girl, this lady, old lady, going the wrong way at the street. I honked at her. I scared her from a distance. You screamed at her. And then I read, when we got close, I said, Turn around, old lady. You didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said, Turn around. And then she was like, I am. And then the guy in the front passenger was like, F you. I'm like, I'm helping you out, boy. What if yeah. I was going 45 miles an hour? I would hit you. I would have I gladly hit you. I like being nice to people. 
that was be, that was me being nice. So right here, guys, it looks just like Portland. This is what Portland looked like without the palm trees, though. But they have beautiful trees and beautiful leaves and green streets and grasses and I say green streets, but green grass. Park. Growing up, I always called it Indian Steel Park. Why? I don't know. That's just what we did. I used to go here a lot as a kid. My dad would always go fishing. He would bring me and my older sister and then my baby sister when she was born. We used to come to these hills and just roll down them, play at the playground. There's great memories. This used to be my happy place before I met this awesome man right here next to me. Um, he's my I'm happy place now, oh, but this used to be you my happy place. It. All in high school, this was my happy place. Everyone would bring me here. I would always come here all the time by myself. I never experienced anything bad, even when I would come alone at night and swing on the swing. And the other times, obviously, I'm with my dad. My dad looks scary, so of course no one's gonna approach us. But when I would come alone too, I never experienced anything unlike him. What was your experience? My experience here, baby? was not like that. Uh, I, this is not my Can I slow place. down, slow down. This is not my favorite place in the world that I want to come to because some people pulled up on us when we were here one time. So basically, what happened was. She's showing you guys what the food looks like. That's what the food looks like. And it's chicken right under that. Father God, thank you for this food. Thank you for giving us another day, another time to enjoy. Another year. Another year. Happy New Year, Happy Dad. New year. <laughs> thank you uh, for everything that you've been doing in our lives. Thank you for this food, for blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ain't he good? Look at the French fries. Mm, mm. mm, it's cold. Thank you. Okay. You can go warm it up. Mm. Yep. French fries good so far. You got some ghetto drink. Ghetto? This is like okay. This QT, not ghetto. What, yours? You ain't ghetto. I'm about to get exposed of how messy I eat. You're about to expose yourself. Guys, right, we do this in Africa. <laughs> and we eat the box. Why See that? That's a plate now. Very smart, huh? I was gonna do that, but I thought I might have leftovers. Today, I'm just, we're just gonna react to people's dreadlocks, how we eat. So yummy. So good. So good, huh? Told you. And I wish it was hot, like, whenever right we got it, because then it's more good. I like cold food. Guys, mine has a mac and cheese and hot Cheetos on top of it. Don't roast me, but I eat messy sometimes, 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 sometimes. Cap. Yeah. <laughs> Alabama, are you paying attention to what so she's gonna be reacting to this too so she's gonna give y'all guys her thoughts on it how much she would rate it so breathe baby I'm breathing yeah so much you know when you eat a lot of food and like your throat hurts it's too much you gotta chew it more so i feel i need to calm down the throat hurt yeah you never that never happens no it's because the bread is so thick. No, ma'am. Mm. Maybe if it was crunchy. I told some people to go to my uh, Instagram and, and the DMs and comment down basically. DM me basically the dreadlocks so I can react to it for this uh, video right here that we are doing. Is it good? And so she's going to be reacting to it too. And then I'm going to be reacting to it too. So what we're doing is uh, reacting to it. Giving you guys a quick tip. Then uh, rating it also. So I told some people to go to my uh, Instagram and DM me their dreads. Those that done it is usually the ones that are already subscribed with a bell ring on. Because I said 5 to 10 people. So that's what I'm going to do. 5 to 10 people. So this video is so... Uh, it's long and the stuff, so you know, we're gonna take some time though to react to y'all and appreciate y'all. This is a give back to you guys. You guys have supported us so much, and also, our channel is out. Our family channel, go subscribe. We have our first video in there, and so go check that out. It's amazing. Uh, this family is gonna grow so much, and I know it because of the life direction that we are headed to in our lives, basically. She's a psychologist major at ASU, so she's in school. I'm in. Uh, and also she's in a Bible college. I'm in a Bible college. I do uh, other things on the side too that I will be sharing in the future with you guys. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm so happy that we have we are where we are today. And it's, and it's because of you guys. And so this is a give back. And so to say, it, I appreciate you guys. Does yours have a coleslaw? Can I try yeah. it? I thought it was just cabbage. Breathe, baby. Yours is so good. I like how your chicken is moist. Before we get into this video, here is. Mm. 
Pinto! That was weak as Barrington Water. Before we get into it, here is intro! First men's that commented, which one is it? Mentioned Junior Story. What would you rate my dress? There we go. God dang, boy. I didn't tell you to tell me your whole life story. Baby. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, he showed you the process. Cool. Oh, wow. Okay. You'll be looking like that, like you can't see. I can't. It's dark. Okay, so we're going to react to his. So, I guess he started it just like mine. Because I had it like that long before mm -hmm. I turned it to dreads. So, the way he started it, I believe, is he sectioned it out just like me. And uh, from there, uh, he just crochet hooked it and stuff like that. But let's see the next uh, picture that he got. It looks like he used to have it a two strand twist. Is that two strand twist? That looked like a two strand twist, but at the same time, it looks like a dread. So it looks good right there. The length is pretty nice for him to turn it to dreads. He didn't just jump to the, to, to the dreads. He rocked the dot boy cut. Uh, he, uh, what? Did you say dot boy? That's what it's called. Uh, he, uh, he had, uh, I believe, different probably hairstyles before he turned it to dreads, but that's what it looks like right there. I was freeforming. Uh, oh, he was freeforming at uh, first, but my mom told me to get a retwist, and when it when I did, I lost all of my I lost a lot of my congos, and I'm trying to get them back. Oh, so he likes his congos. So he wants congos, I guess. That's cool. That's yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, he looks like a two strand twist, and then he took it out of the two strand twist. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of y'all have a problem with the dread getting a good thick dread is because. Is because you guys you go to a professional dreaders or whatever they don't know what they're doing. I'm 100 percent honest with you. Gun that are great. Instant lock method is the best method to get dreads, and that's literally what turned my dreads into becoming thick. Because they do too much twisting, too much rubbing, and it makes it so dense and so thin. And from there you just start. So don't do that. Let's go to other pictures that he had. Maybe. Oh, okay. That's that's it now. Uh, the ones in the back that I tied with the rubber band our congos now and i just washed my hair in that picture so that why well, that's why the dreads in the front are sticking up and happy new years thank you brother i'm in nine months semi free form dang that's good and most of my congos are on the side and what would you rate my dread <clears throat> i like them i rate them like a what are we going to 10 yeah one to ten i'd say like a eight I okay. just don't give it a 10 because I don't see that all of them are in dreads. Like, they, his hair still looks curly. Uh -huh. Like, his curls are still out. But it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. I, that looks cool. And it's cool that he likes the Congos. Because I always thought Congos were a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So, it's cool to see someone say that. I like his dreads. I would rate him an 8, 8 and a half too. Because the fact that he, uh, he didn't just jump into dreads reminds me of me. And then the fact that he's going on his way, he makes it his own way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that is cool. That's another cool thing. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Cool. Oh, those are really cool. They're both super, like, unique, you know? Like. At first, I thought this was Lil Uzi. Oh, okay. Uzi dot con. Poon. Poon con. Well, the color sure is unique. That's like fuchsia and purple. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. That's pink and purple. It's like a fuchsia. Fuchsia's like fuchsia. pinkish purple. Mexico. But it's not though. Yeah, the, this one is pinkish purple. It turns to uh, purple from pink. Okay, it's pink and purple. What is this? Is that him getting a microscope? Actually, it's a light or? purple. So it might be fuchsia. But this is him getting a. This let's see. Finished product of all the dye that she did. I think it came up really, really, really great. It's so. Fire, I love it. Mm -hmm. This is not even twisted yet. Okay. You did a Oh, he hasn't had it Yeah, so this is not even twisted yet. So that looks crisp. So that's, I believe that's a twisted after you twisted it right there. Okay, yeah. Then you got a lot of hair, bro. And so I nice. like that braid. That braid looked crispy with that uh, color. Is that on it? Mm -hmm. That looked nice. Yeah. You remind me, like I said, Lil Uzi. But I like the fact that uh, it's just like, even with the length that he has, he can do braids with it. That's very cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I would have th thought like he had to get to maybe seven inches or so. I, I mean, I guess his hair is about seven inch. So your dreads are cool, bro. From the from the retwist part and the, what she what she was doing with it, basically, I would rate it. I would rate it probably like a um, 
I would say a nine. What would you say, Bibs? I'd say a nine. Okay, I don't really like the coleslaw. Okay, when I was, let's switch them. Yeah, when I was first eating it, there wasn't that much coleslaw, but now there's it's a lot in the middle, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I read them a nine. I really like the color. My favorite color is pink. So it's just like my eyes are like, ooh, that's nice. And I just, I like how they're kind of curly too. I like curly dreads. Like when he had his, like, see, they're curly. I love when the dreads are curly. And your dreads look curly. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. And um, and I like the, the, the thickness of them too. Mm -hmm. And they kind of look like beads in a way. You know those bracelets you make with the beads? Like, like you know, that's what your hair reminds me of. And I like the hair a lot. So I rated a nine. Okay. A quick tip for you would be, a quick tip for you would be get get a haircut, fam. A quick tip for you would be yeah, get, get you like a nice lineup, bro, and it'll look fresh as heck, bro. Especially with the braids that you. Ooh, a video. Wait, 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 wait. Is it gonna let you replay it? it oh. Okay. Oh, those are nice. Those, okay. those look new. Ooh, I like the end how you can see the curl. So, I think it go away. Oh, it's still there. Okay. So I like the fact that there's so many dreads in his head. Uh -huh. And they all like coursed perfectly. Uh-huh. Like that's very dope. But I like the fact that uh he probably got it professionally done. It don't look like it's free formed or anything. Maybe he might have started off uh, coiling it up just like just like Taj. I'll rate him about dang, that was actually a nice dread. I'll, I'll rate it a nine. I don't know what a ten would be though. Like, I don't know. If mine is a ten. Is mine a ten? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you didn't want to say it. Yeah. I guess mine is a 10, so if I see something like mine, I'll give it a 10. But I don't want to be prideful like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think my dreads is like like the best thing ever out there. I think there's more people that have a lot cool hair than me. I like, think I'll give you a 9, bro. Even a 10, bro. His dreads, I like because you can see the curly. Like, I miss his curly hair. I really miss his curly hair. But um, dreads are cute, too. But, like, I like... Cap. <laughs> like like sometimes at the end of his dreads you can see the end how it's curly and that's what i like about his dreads a lot is you can literally see the curl turning into dreads and i think that's just really nice really nice okay a tip would be for you uh he's like a nine and a half bro i don't even know if i got a tip for you because i was i was just nice and i didn't really get to look at his scalp yeah, we didn't look at the scalp or anything. You need to send, like, pictures next time, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, just because we're talking about dreads, maybe making sure, because I know him, when the when the little curl comes out, he crochet hooks it back in so the dread doesn't undo. So I would say that's the only tip to make sure. That's good. You know what I mean? That's a good tip. Because you know how even Gunther the Great, like, he was saying he balls this up so it doesn't undo? That would, That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, two-strand twist. Mm. Okay, um... Then his hair short. Yeah, his hair is short. It's always a tough thing whenever you start off a of short hair. But bro, like that's literally how I started my dreads. You have a lot of hair, by the way. It's thick. It's, uh, you got a bunch of it's hair, very bro. coarse, yeah. And uh, what I would recommend is. is actually to keep on doing what you're doing and making sure that you maintain your dreads, uh, your hair, because I know your hair starts to congo up or else. Like my hair does mm -hmm. that a lot. And so do that. And whenever you get them done, get them done sectionally or unless you go in free form style, section it out before you do them. Keep doing your two strand twist. It'll help your hair uh, follicles and everything. But I will rate that since you were starting, I'll rate that about seven. Yeah, I was saying seven or eight. Because we don't stage. know really what it looks like in, yeah. when it's dreaded because it's not, it's not dreaded yet. Like for the stage he's in, they look good. Because like when you first started yours, that's what yours looked like. There was just a bunch of twists, mm -hmm. you know? So. That's facts. Oh, oh, he's so blonde too. Oh, he is a half and half, just like mine. Okay, okay. okay. They're short. They're thick. They're thick, yeah. They're very thick. Oh, oh they're my God. undoing. Are they? Is that freeform? No, that's not freeform. That's dreads. That's thick dreads, though. So you can see that that progress right there from where he was at to that mm -hmm. to that right there. So what I'm noticing is from him, he's basically uh, have thick dreads. Maybe started it off of maybe twists or or or, or something like that. But uh, I don't look like it's freeform. Oh my Ooh. god. Wow. Them things are thick, bro. But I like the fact that you dyed it half and half before I did, probably. It looked like he needed a, a retwist from like new growth, you know? Oh, yeah. I think he might need just a retwist then. I started my dreadlock during early March, and now I'm officially 10 months in the log gang. A, a way I'm YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. So shout out to Fresh to Death Dex. Follow him on YouTube or uh, subscribe to him on YouTube. He has a channel, he said he does a journey. Uh, it's called F2DD21. I love your videos, bro. Your locks are fire, bro. I get jealous of your pics most of the time because you have 
See, one of the things that I'll, I'll, tip, I'll give you a tip is be proud of your dreads, man. You came a long way. 10 months is a long time. A lot of people quit before you even get into five months. And so keep doing what you're doing. How much would you rate that? Nine to seven. Only because there was a lot of fuzzy. And I like it better when they're like clean uh -huh. and like stiff. Like after your braids, his, his dreads are super stiff and I like how it looks. I don't like, um, I like a seven. I really like the color changes. That's really bold. I rate it an eight. Cause I like the journey. You really, you really pushing on it, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. So this one, I would, this one I would say, if you want to get dreads like that, follow Gundor Grits, cause that looks like Gundor Grits old dreads. So look at his old videos, how he started it. He started off with Insta Locks with a sectioned out of random sections. I don't think he really like sponge rub me method. I think he, that's how he started or towel rub, and then from there he sectioned it out uh, as he was locking it up. So Insta Locks would be the way to do it. Uh, but at the same time, that looks like a very kept locks, not the roots, but the kept locks. So once you start actually uh, growing, you want to start freeforming it. Like, don't touch the bottoms. Don't try to uh, section it out. You good? Get some drink. And so after you let it, and the lock and everything, you just need to let it freeform. You good? Yeah. You just need to. You just need. You just need to let it freeform from there, and it will start good. It will start looking good. <clears throat> oh, those are cool. Looks like macaroni. Okay, so he's in the beginning stage. Off the back, I'll tell you to keep going, bro. Don't get discouraged. Don't get uh, don't get discouraged. Don't 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 move back. Don't go back. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it let it uh, don't let it discourage you because you're at the starting position. So right now, when you're starting, actually that form is I don't call that an ugly stage. The ugly stage is when it start trying to take its own form, but it can't really because it don't know where to go. Like free, like when it's a new growth. Mm-hmm. The new growth, yeah. And so that's what I, I would call ugly sage, but any dread that you have at any length is actually good if, if it's kept. But if it has too much growth, you can start going with freeform. Then if you call it freeform, yeah, I agree. And that's what you're doing. Like I had an ugly stage of not of freeform and I didn't like that. I call that an ugly stage for me because I'm like, okay, I'm not kept, I'm not keeping it. I'm not maintaining it at all. It just look good, but the roots are bad. And uh, what I would rate yours is a seven, bro, just because you started your locks, and we'll see in the future where you can end up to. How much would you rate that? <clears throat> Eight. I really like them. I like the color. Like it just looks cool like that. Like the like the trans. It's like the transitioning stage mm -hmm. from like twist to dreads, and I just like how it looks a lot. I like how they're sticky now. I really like that look. <coughs> it's the drink. No, it's the drink. It's like I could taste the flavor of the drink. In your, uh, in your uh, lungs. Uh -huh. Yeah. I can taste it in your lungs. You know. That don't make sense. You don't. You just feel it in your lungs. I'll taste it. Later. I can taste the flavor. In your lungs? I don't know where. Ooh, those are cool. Okay, these look crispy, by the way. From the start, it's just, it's just a nice locks. It look like you got, you got, you kind of got my texture here, cause that's what my hair look like when For I'm sure. not, when I'm not, uh, uh, when I didn't get a cut or something like that. But uh, the dread looks fire, bro. I like how it's skinny. It goes skinny and then a pointy, a uh, pointy at the end. It's not really rough at the end, it's, it's pointy. So it's pretty good that you did that. What I like another thing about it is the color that you dyed it, because I used to have the same kind of dye, but not, not as much as yours, but I had a tips, cool. my tips dye. That looks really good, actually. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so, I, uh, so you can use it as a thumbnail, by the way. I think I saw that you say you have a YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. That's so nice. Okay, okay. It looks like he keeps up with it too, so that's good. Oh, they got longer, now they're down. Yeah, they've been down, baby. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe just because the ponytail. Down. Look how big it is. It's very long too. Hey, what's good, bro? Happy New Year's, bro. Appreciate that. I've been uh, locked up for a little over 14 months. Dang, that's a good amount of growth right there. Oh. For 14 months. <laughs> he said locked up, I thought he meant in jail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for a little over uh, 14 months, hopefully I get uh, I get put in the vid. I have a YouTube channel, by the way. So his name is Lag Lagoon Laguni. Lagoon. Lagoon. Walk by faith, not by sight. Hey. Okay. Come on. You got a good uh the gram. He work, you look like you work out too. I think I, I think I think that's what the, the the direction I'm headed. Even in my body and stuff like that, working out. So probably gonna look up to you on that, bro. You look you look like you've been working out for a little while. Cause I used to work out and I stopped. I feel like I would have been at a good stage right now. I would have been yeah. I would have been really good. But it's okay. Uh, I'll get there. But I I actually like his dreads, man. It kind of remind me of when I got mine locked and. uh I like the way you crochet hooked them. Maybe I believe that's what you did. But check out his channel. I'm guessing he has some content about dreads. So that's actually a 
definitely a good plug right there for him. So, and I support anybody that's like really starting a uh, journey and stuff like that, and even even YouTube channel because I know it's tough starting off. Yeah, go out check out his channel. I'm gonna go to his channel right now actually, so you guys can kind of see what he does. Okay. Mm. He literally updates you guys and he probably has tips for other things too, how he started it. Uh, cutting off his dreads, high top fade. I'm guessing he's learning, bro. He learning, he learning. Journey one year lockup. That's a nice thumbnail right there. Whoa. So check out his uh I'll rate yours, bro, probably a 10, bro. I didn't say that. Yeah. Because they're really nice. I like those a lot. Like every dread could be a 10 if it's kept. Or if it is free form, then free form. If you like in between those two, then you are going through an ugly stage. That's what I would call an ugly stage. There's no ugly dress. There's no ugly stage unless you don't know what you're doing with your hair. So yeah, a 10 would be what I would give you, bro. Okay, so for other people that commented, uh, I don't want to dang react to everybody's, man. I feel just bad not reacting to it. For those that I didn't react to, I'm going to respond to you guys on uh, Instagram and let you guys know what I think about it. But I want to include you guys in the next video that I do if I'm reacting to uh, y'all. So stay tuned for that. And make sure you comment or you DM me first thing first because I said the first five to ten people. Check out the previous video, guys. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm out. We out. We, we out. We are out guys. Check out our channel. Link in the description. Subscribe to y'all. Get us get us at least get us at least to 200. So everybody that follows me that watches this video, go check out our uh, Instagram, personal Instagram accounts. And man, I appreciate you guys. This is this is just the start. 2020, here would come. Let's get it. Boop boop.